So my putting has been absolutely terrible of late and I decided finally I'm going to do something about it and get serious about practicing my putting at home. So I've gone out and I've bought six of the most popular putting mats, put them through their paces. I've spent a few hours testing them against six different categories. I've also put them against the USGA RNA stim meter to see how fast they are. So let's see which one I ended up choosing and why. So when it came to comparing all these mats against each other, as I say, I came up with the six different categories uh, and basically I gave them zero, one or two points in each of the categories. Zero points if it, if it just didn't measure up, a point if it just was standard and two if it just had that was a bit better than that and had something a little bit extra which just made it a bit better to use. So the first of the categories that I looked at was set up and how easy it was, we're all busy, and how easy it would be just to, to grab out of the cupboard, throw it down on the floor, uh, or kitchen floor in my case, and get started and get a good bit of practice in. So the, they were all pretty easy to set up. However, the ones that probably took a little bit longer were um, the SKL, SKLZ, uh, Accelerator Pro Indoor Mat, and the Champ Key Putt Tech Pro. And just for the simple reason that you had a couple of extra bits, down the side, uh, which you added on for the ball runners, and that was it. Uh, for the long ridge four speed, you uh, had to um, just make sure that you were putting in the right speed, so you'd brush it whichever way there. To be honest, it's probably a little bit harsh, it was super easy to, to just roll out, just as the, the other three, which were the, the easiest ones in my view, uh, was the forb, the putt out, uh, and the well putt mat, which just literally grabbed out the cupboard, throw them out on the floor and they were and they were ready to go. So super easy. So as I say, they were all pretty easy to set up, but just for in terms of your shorter time or just making it super easy and you're a bit you can a bit lazy like me, the those are the things I noticed when it came to when it came to set up. Category two build quality feel of the mat. The, uh, when it came to that, uh, I probably split them up into, into three different categories. Uh, the best ones uh, for me, without a doubt, I think were the, were the well out uh, putting mat, the putt out and the long ridge. They were just really nice to feel to the touch. Uh, and just obviously they're not gonna be exactly like a putting green, but as I say, you just felt they were very consistent and feel and just running your hand over the top of them they uh, they felt felt good to the t good to the touch. The forb also was 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 pretty good from that perspective. The um, just not maybe not not quite as nice, but I mean very usable and and very good build quality. Uh, the ones which I which I didn't like so much were the SK, SKLZ Accelerator Pro and the and the Champ Key Mat. Just very much rougher to the touch, uh, and obviously at the end, particularly with the SKLZ and the champ key, the bits of plastic at the end, it's just, it's just plas cheap plastic as, as you can imagine with, with the, li the little bits at the end. And it just didn't feel as good, uh, as good a quality product as, as the others. And I say the mat itself, when you just, when you rubbed your hand over them, uh, it just, just, you, you notice that, notice that difference in quality. Uh, so that's what, that's what I looked at when it came to the build and the, and the quality of the product. So when it came to usability, I must confess, I didn't have any problems with any of the mats, mats at all. They all did exactly as they said in the tin. The Farb one, which I've laid out here, was the only one really where I was standing in the mat and potentially I had to worry about slipping, but no, no problem at all. The mats itself, mats themselves didn't slip off any surface, whether that be on a, on a hard kitchen floor on a wooden floor or on a carpet, they didn't they didn't slip at all. So there were absolute there were no complaints, no complaints from that perspective. On the well putt and the putting out pro, I just gave them a, a couple of extra marks just because it just felt the sort of the truest role from that perspective. The 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 forb was was good too, as was the long ridge once you'd worked out which speed you were you were aiming for. They were they were both very good. Uh, Definitely at the bottom of the pile for, for role was SKLZ and the, and the champ key. But in terms of, of usability, 
I didn't have any problems with any of them at all. The, uh, but as I say, I just scored the wild putt and the putt out just, just that little bit higher, maybe a bit harsh in the, on the form and the long ridge, which were also good, but uh, they, were, they were pretty close, but definitely the two, two at the bottom were the SKLZ and the Chamkey. When it came to portability and storage, the three best ones without a doubt were the long ridge four speed, the well putt putting mat and the putt out mat. They, they all folded really, really tightly. And to be honest, the putt out had an extra little touch, which was great. Came with a, with a carry case where you could just put, put it in there and then take it away, take it into the office, take it into, take it away on holiday with you, which was an, a really nice additional touch. With the SKL Z and the Champ Key, uh, as you can see with the extra bits of plastic that they had and when they folded up, they were obviously a little bit bulkier, but not, not too bad and certainly very storable in the, in the cupboard. The most disappointing one, probably without a doubt, was the Forb, which lays out really well and very easy to set up in a Mac, but when it comes to rolling it up and, and storing it away, it doesn't store up very, doesn't store up very tightly as we can just see here. So, I mean, if I just roll this one up, roll this one up here, this element folds up not too badly at all. But if I just keep rolling it up, as you can see, very easy, but just this then, this last bit at the top, doesn't really fold at all. It comes with a sort of very, just a plastic bag, so nothing really to store it in. So whenever I, I drop it down, and let it go. There you go. It does that and sort of comes apart. So without without a case or anything to keep it tight, tightly with, it just would keep keep doing that. So that was that was probably the most disappointing from a from a storage point of view. Very storable. I'm obviously trying to look at things to distinguish them, but the rest I find much much easier to store. And particularly the putt out was great with his extra carry case. When it came to features, uh, all of the mats, to be fair to them, tried to do something to me to add interest to your practice or to give you useful things such as markers for distances on them, just to, to keep a to help you sort of come up with drills, etc. And also to keep your put, uh, putting practice more interesting. So they, they definitely all, all tried something. In terms of the things that I liked and I didn't like, uh, the SKL Z and the Champ Key with the little rises just as you come up uh, to the hole uh, and in the, the Champ Key's instance a little bunker um, and a little piece of water behind. I can see what you're trying to, I just, I don't like that little feature. I know it's to bring the ball back, but just for me, as I use them more often, I'm just trying to get the ball to the hole to get up the ramp, which is a bit of an artificial thing I think it will probably, I suspect we do when it comes to the course, just hitting the ball too hard to, to get to the hole. Um, both had little um, spots on them uh, to help with distance, which which was great. The long ridge, I really loved the idea in terms of the of the four speed, uh, the four speed green, but just the, uh, the ha this, it became a little bit hassle in terms of to, to sort of keep rolling one way to get one speed and then rolling back to get to get another. And after after a bit of use, I just ended up putting on one on one speed just to, to practice and not bother with the rest. I, I really loved the idea. I really was looking forward to seeing how, how it would turn out. But it just after a little while, just was, was rolling back and forward. And whether if I if I used it for longer, I would just I would choose one bit of practice. But it was one where I enjoyed sort of testing it out and testing the different speeds. But then after a while, I just wanted to get one speed just for if I had five, 10 minutes spare just making sure it was one speed without having to roll it or, or bother, et cetera, and knowing it was, that, it was that speed. So that might just be me in terms of for, for look, some of you are looking for much more interesting practice and can be bothered rolling it uh, consistently. It might be a great thing, but, but for me, I just, I got, I got a bit fed up with it in terms of, not fed up with it, but just I ended up, I just was choosing one speed. Uh, one speed at the end of the day. The Ford mat obviously had the three holes in it. The, the problem I had with the two side holes was was the little ridge where just the, the, they had put extra extra foam to start making the ridge. 
meant I, I couldn't get rid of the little kink just as the, and the line towards the two side holes. So I ended up not using them and just putting to the, to the, to the hole in the middle, just cause I knew it was going to be a true, a true putt. Uh, on the, on the putt outside, it was great. Very simple, very markings there just at, uh, at one to six feet where you could just go back and, and, and putt to the, to the hole that was drawn out. Uh, and, and the well putt for me though, just added that little bit extra in terms of having, uh, the bad zone, which was which was short, where you're aimed not to leave it there short of the hole, because a hundred percent of short putts don't go in all the time. Just trying to get you consistently to get the ball past the hole into into the good zone. Also, little markings in terms of to help you with your stroke, to try and make sure you're accelerating through the ball. Which for me, just as a bit of a problem I had, I found I found really useful. And just I think the final thing was the different sizes of mats. The, the putt out mat, which was just that little bit shorter, the well putt, I, I got the 10 foot one here. There are 13 feet and 26 feet options available. If I had the room and uh, my family would be happy with me putting out that size of mat, I think that would be a really great option just so I could practice distance control as well. But from a size perspective, uh, Forb also had uh, an extra size, which would have been good. But just as I say, those kinks at the side were a problem I had. Uh, going to the side holes. Last and by no means least, price, which is obviously an absolutely critical thing in terms of when it comes to what you're going to buy and, and value for money. The they were essentially the mats were split into two. There were three which were under uh, under a hundred bucks and three over three over a hundred bucks. With the two most expensive being uh, the Long Ridge, one hundred thirty seven dollars or roughly 110 pounds and the well putt at $139 uh, or roughly about 127 pounds. So not, not in, inexpensive. Um, the Forb was also uh, sort of over the $110 mark around 89, 89 pounds. But I mean, it was a bit of a, it was, it was a good quality, quality product. As I say, aside from those two, the ridges bit, which started to irritate me aiming for the side holes, but I think I'd probably just say that's about, about value for money. Um, the SKLZ and the Champ Keys were both around the 50 bucks, 50 pound mark. So definitely much, much cheaper. Uh, and you, to be honest, in terms of you could tell, both in terms of the, the plastic bits that were used for the ramp and the feel of the, the, feel of the mat itself. Uh, but in terms of at about just under 90 bucks, 70 pounds, I think the putt out pro golf mat was 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 definitely the, the best value for money um for for under 100 bucks for that quality of product the um it it was good i think that definitely was the standout when it came to came to price and value for money okay next up the stim meter how do they all get on so looking first at the sk sklz putting mat doesn't make any claim in terms of what uh, how fast it is. It's difficult to tell. We just could, couldn't tell. It's certainly faster than nine, faster than eight feet, but because of the ramp and it's not able to to run out, we're unable to tell. But it certainly is definitely over eight feet. Now, now that we've gone through all the categories, just looking at the final table there, we can see from, from my perspective, the well, the well putt and the putt out mat are, are ahead of the rest. Um, in terms of before, just we get in terms of which, which one I chose for myself, just in terms of any are asking in terms of why, why don't I just pass, practice my putting in the carpet? Why do I need a putting mat? Anyway, there's no doubt about it. You can work on your stroke. Certainly at home, it's the best place to work on your stroke. When it comes to comes to putting, though, there are two key things. First thing is that you're hitting the ball straight, end over end, and the second thing is distance control. And where putting on carpet is makes it hard from 
checking that you're hitting it straight is the bobbles in the carpet. No matter what carpet you have, the little bobbles that are there will just send the ball off. So if you draw a line on the ball to just check you're hitting it straight, the bobbles in the carpet just make sure that you can't entirely be sure that you're hitting it dead straight. You can work on your stroke 100%, no problem at all. Uh, but when, And also when it comes to distance control, believe it or not, your carpet is much, much faster than a normal green. The, when it comes to, to regular greens, I think particularly in the UK, they're, uh, they're sort of, they can be eight feet, eight feet, nine feet in the stim meter. On the PGA Tour, you're getting up to 12 feet. In the majors, uh, the, particularly the US Open and the PGA, they're getting to 13, 14 feet. And when it comes to the masters, it's obviously, it's a different scale. And you can get speeds that are up to 15 feet. The British Open is slightly different and because of the wind. Uh, the organizers just have to watch in terms of the ball blowing in the green. So that those tend to be hovering around the 10, 10 and a half. The, um, but when it comes to practicing our putting at home, a putting mat is just better uh, for a carpet, just in terms of checking that we're hitting the ball straight, straight as well as hitting our stroke. If you want to check out our blog post on this, just, just Google putting practice on, on carpet and, and take a look. Uh, but in terms of the one that I chose for myself, it was the well putt pro putting mat and that in terms of the, there wasn't a lot in it just for me the fact that it was a bit longer i quite liked the the additional things that were on the mat in terms of the good zone and the bad zone just to for me making sure i'm hitting the ball past the hole is is a really important thing and also the things the little markings on there just to to, to remind me to be accelerating when i'm on my stroke the putt out mat i've got to say is an, is another great mat slightly shorter but in terms of, of value, it's like, I think it can be 40 to 50 bucks uh, cheaper than, than the well putt. And also the storage bag is, is, a, is a great touch. You're not, you're not gonna be wrong with that. Just for me, in terms of what I'm working on my putting, the well putt would be, was, is gonna be better for me in terms of keeping my interest. I can get bored quite quickly. And the games that are on there, both have apps accompanying them, which is fantastic. Uh, and so you can get more drills and things like that, but also, the last thing in the well putt is it comes in different sizes. So in terms of if you are able to buy a different size or fit one, I, I can't in terms of I don't have enough room and I don't think the family would allow it. You can get at ones up to 13 and even 26 feet. So if you then want to start working your distance control and try and get rid of those crucial three putts, which are, which are such a hammer on the scorecard, the well putt gives you that, gives you those options as well. So that's our review of six of the most popular putting mats. I uh, hope you found it useful. If you are, if you are going to buy, if you could click in the links below, uh, even if you're not going to get one this instant, that would really help us out to keep bringing you more uh, videos like this. Thanks for checking out the channel and uh, give us a subscribe if you can.